this morning I posted a message asking you to send in pictures of what you were doing this Friday morning and got a couple of great ones. First one from Gary over Midlothian, coffee in the pool. I can't think of a greater way to start the day. And then Samantha Blevins over in Pensacola, Florida on vacation tells me she's waiting to watch the Blue Angels take flight over there. And I will tell you that's one of my favorite things about Florida. While we're out on the beach or out on a pontoon boat or something, I'm always looking to the skies because you can often see some pretty neat airplanes flying over there. There was a picture, uh, there was some planes in the in the picture here that you can't quite see them behind the banner there, but you can also see some storm clouds off the off in the distance here over the Gulf of Mexico that won't impact the flight. At least it doesn't look like they will. We have some storms of our own to watch, not in our area. Everything is clear here, but if we look north of of us, there is quite a complex of storms up in Oklahoma. We're looking at the Oklahoma City radar here. So really from about the Red River here up towards Tulsa there, a line of storms and this line won't impact us, but we will be watching for outflow that could bring storms our way later today, especially with the heat of the day. There's also some storms over in the panhandle here from about Elk City down towards uh, the Lubbock area there and much more scattered activity. I don't expect that to really impact us or do anything, but as we see these impulses come through these disturbances, and if you ask folks in Oklahoma, they've been dealing with these pretty much over and over again for the last few days here, last several days, we know what that's like. That pretty much describes most of our month of June, but these will continue to pass through over the next several days and we're gonna have rain chances here, at least low ones. So we could get some rain out of those, but it's a very conditional chance. We'll talk about that later. Today, temperatures are in the mid 90s here, so we're keeping the hundreds at bay, which I know 95 is still warm, 95, 96, possibly 97 in some places, but it's better than 101, 102, 103. Overnight tonight, mid 70s across the area, and it's still gonna be fairly muggy out there, so just keep that in mind as well. If we take a look at the big picture here, here of course is that big complex over Oklahoma. We have a stationary front here, and again, this is what happens with these fronts in the summer. They move in and then right around between really North Texas and the Red River, they kind of just sit there. And that has kind of been part of the catalyst for these storms, but if we add the upper level flow here, it's pretty clear what track those are following. So it's following the Northwest flow that's going to carry that across the Arklatex here down towards Louisiana. And of course, yes, we have our high pressure here. This will be slowly but surely making its way eastward, that dome of high pressure that we're so familiar with but it's not going to do that for a little while. We will be stuck with this Northwest flow for a while here for the next several days. And so the high pressure that's gonna bring the higher temperatures will kind of have to wait a little while before it moves in. We also have these drought conditions. This is the latest map as of yesterday. And yes, we are starting to see the uh, moderate drought move in as well as the abnormally dry. So we've been lucky so far. Th this really for the first few days of July, this ain't very bad. I mean, compared to last year, especially. So as we go through the next several days, any rain we do get will be helpful. And I know in Texas that whether we've had 10 days of rain already or no rain forever, we say we need rain. That's kind of just our default position here in North Texas. And this is why, because we are just used to seeing these drought conditions in Texas. But I will tell you again, we're in a pretty good spot so far, but we could see that deteriorate if we're not able to get some of that rain into our area. So here's the forecast today. I have 20% and that's really accounting for the fact that that complex to our north, it kind of held together better, I think, than most people expected it to. So we have a little bit of a better chance of getting more effective and efficient outflow in our area. So as that drops southward, we could see a storm or two later today. Better chances north and east, but hey, it's possible. For the next several days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, we're in the mid to upper 90s, and I do have a 10% chance of showers and thunderstorms each day. That 10% chance may go up a little bit as we get closer to each day and have a better idea of what we're looking at. Essentially, I'm accounting for the fact that I can't rule out a storm or two, not likely, but if we get that outflow from those impulses up to our north, we could get a storm or two out of those. 
Wednesday, Thursday, that's where we should be in the 100s. So as we get closer to the middle of next week, which is getting close to the middle of July here, we've had a pretty good run so far, considering that three months make up meteorological summer. We've had about the first half of that with decent rain chances and really most of the area without drought conditions. But we will be back in the hundreds Wednesday and Thursday, and that's actually pushed back. I was expecting hundreds to start probably Monday or Tuesday, but that Northwest flow is kind of keeping things at bay for the moment. But we'll see that eventually creep up as that dome of high pressure returns. Today, just keep in mind, really probably afternoon heating through evening, a chance of a few thunderstorms around. Yesterday they stayed to our north, but we could see some of those in our area later today. And then for the next several days, just a possibility of some afternoon storms. The best advice I have for you, stay tuned to South Metro weather. And of course, if storms are coming, I will keep you updated on that. But sometimes they pop up quick enough. I'm doing something else, they pop up and I'm playing catch up. So watch South Metro weather, but watch the skies as well. If you're outdoors, just stay aware as we could have a few storms in our area. Stay tuned as we cover the possibility of hopefully at least some rain over the next several days.